What's up guys, this is Ashton with MuseThemes.com. Today we're taking a look at our full screen background video widget. It's a powerful and simple widget that allows you to incorporate self-hosted videos as a stylish background to your Muse web page. The videos sit nicely behind all your page content and can be customized by changing the scaling behavior as well as adding pattern overlays. So we'll switch over to Muse and we'll drag the widget out onto the page. And as with most video widgets, you're not going to get a live preview to display here on your workflow. And in this case, you're only going to see this little code snippet here. But it's all you need to get this thing functional. Now let's pop open that flyout panel and take a look at some of the options. The first two fields here are going to prompt you to add both an MP4 and a WebM version of your video. Now it is important that you include both versions for best performance and consistency among the different browsers. And there are many free converters available online. For right now, I'll go ahead and add a sample video that I pulled from our Fluid Ink theme. Go ahead and add the MP4 and the WebM. Perfect. Now, also an important thing to note with this widget, because we do get a lot of questions and support about this. You need to be mindful of your file sizes of your videos when you're self-hosting, and especially when you're using them in a full screen capacity like this. Now, both my MP4 and WebM videos here are about one megabyte each. Now, it is okay to go more than that, but using too large of files can create lag in your video or delayed load times in the browser. So just make sure that if you're creating your video in like an editing software like Premiere, that you don't render them out any larger or at a higher bit rate than necessary. Ultimately, it will depend on the bandwidth of your hosting provider and your internet speed, so it'll just come down to some experimentation. But if you're experiencing any lag on your page once you've published your site, try shortening or sizing down your video first and seeing if that helps. So I've added my files and I can already go ahead and give this a quick browser preview. And our video is playing nicely already. So I'm going to jump back to the flyout panel real quick and run through these customization options. The first one here is your video scaling options. Now we have full width fixed and full height scrolling. So to show you the difference, I'm going to create just a simple rectangle on my page and place it further down on the page just to give us a place to scroll down to. And I'll go ahead and uh, give that a fill as well. Cool. So the widget comes default set at full width fixed. And if I preview this in the browser again, you can see that the video remains in the same fixed position as I scroll down the page. It, it kind of will stretch itself to fill the width of the page and remains there no matter how far you scroll. But now if I jump back into the settings panel, I'll go ahead and uh, select full height scrolling, preview our page again. Now if I scroll down, you can see the video actually becomes a scrollable element on the page, stretching itself to the bottom of the content as well. So definitely play around with both options and see which one works best for you. And just keep in mind that if you have a very long page with tons of content, you may want to stick to the fixed option so the video doesn't stretch itself vertically too drastically and become distorted. So back to Muse, I'll go ahead and delete our rectangle. Now inside the flyout, Beneath the scaling, we have options here to loop the video as well as mute the video in case it has audio. And lastly here we have pattern overlay, which lets you upload an image to be tiled over the video. So I'll grab a sample that I have here. Here we go. And then lastly here you can set the opacity. Right now it's set to 0.7 or 70%, but you can adjust this accordingly. And so I'll go ahead and preview our page once more. And there, we get our pattern laying nicely over our video and everything's looking good. So that does it for our full screen background videos widget. We hope you enjoy, and as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, shoot us a note and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.